The NBA brief players on Thursday on their security plan to help enforce health and safety protocols in the Orlando bubble where the league is going to restart next month. The teams are scheduled to begin arriving in Orlando on July 7th. Keep in mind, the state of Florida has experienced a spike in COVID-19 during the month of June. And according to Johns Hopkins, the number of daily confirmed new cases has increased, listen to this, 582% during that time, reaching its single day high on the 24th. Now, The Athletic anonymously quoted some NBA GMs about their concerns. Here they are. If the cases keep spiking in Florida, things are going to happen. I'm really, really concerned for the league big picture wise in many, many ways. Here's another. I know all the proper measures are being taken, but a still a lot is unknown. You know and I know why we are playing for the money. If not that, do you really think we would be playing? I get it. I'm in, but with hesitation. And here's a telling one. With each case that rises in Orlando, the smart players with families are like, why are we going there again? I mean, that's the question. Let's welcome in our analyst, NBA analyst, Jay Williams. Jay Will is a former player. What concerns do you have about the NBA's restart amidst the pandemic? I mean, you obviously just stated it right there, brother. It's uh, you're, you're going to a place that has risen 380% over the last couple of days as it relates to COVID-19 cases. And, uh, you know, as airtight as you can make that bubble, it only takes one person for people to start getting affected. And you have to think about this. This is something that's realistic. And I know a lot of these stars are. First off, you're asking people to leave their family for two and a half, three months. Understand it's about the money. That's still a major ask. It's even asked for, you know, other people to go down there for that amount of time, yet alone these stars. And then secondly, you know, if you have people like Avery Bradley, whose sons have pre-existing conditions, or if you have any other family members that could be affected by this, you're going to be hesitant. You know it is about the money to a degree. But what if LeBron James catches COVID-19? What if Giannis or James Harden, some of these biggest players for their own teams, that you're watching them because it is such a star-driven league? What happens if these superstars catch it? Then how ultimately will that affect your view of what this means? And that's a question everybody's going to ask. See, I is it that, worth it? Oh, go ahead. I think that's key right there, what you say. If LeBron or one of the big stars catches it, that would be a PR disaster for the NBA, much less what do you do. So I hate to be the naysayer because I know people want to get back to basketball, but when do you think should be the point where the NBA says, look, we got a lot of positive cases. If, in fact, that happens, look, we got to pull the plug. When do you think that point would be? You know, I'm not going to sit up here and, and tell you it's going to be a certain number or a certain date. We are in uncharted territory. I, I do not know. Uh, even seeing that Nikola Jokic has COVID, but now he's flying back from Serbia to work out with the team. You know, what's, what's necessarily the protocol to make sure that he is ready to play when that time comes? We are still compiling so much data as it relates to these types of things. And as much as I follow CDC guidelines, it even seems like those guidelines to a degree are somewhat fluid. So if that's the case, I, I, it's hard for me to put an actual metric on that. And I think ultimately this is where you have a guy like Adam Silver that you have to trust in how he processes information. And ultimately it's going to be his, uh, his own subjective judgment on when is enough enough if he has to pull the plug. Yeah, it's impossible to be certain in all of this, but the fluidity breeds confusion, which makes it hard to figure out where this is all going. Jay, thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.